Today, I'm about to tell you about seven things that help you stay on your schedule, not things that help you write your schedule, but things that help you stay on it so you can complete all your daily goals. Let's get into it. The first thing I'm going to talk about with staying on schedule is this thing. This is a keychain pill container. Now, why is it good? It's good for the fact that if you have to take medication with you, you put it in here. If you have to make sure that you take medication at a certain time and you need to have it with you, it goes in here. It goes in your keychain. It's really good for making sure that you have your medication with you because of the fact you put it in here, you don't have to go looking around for it in your purse, your bag, whatever. You're trying to figure out, oh man, where is it? But you know you put it in here. You look at your keychain, you find this thing, and you're like, yes, it's there. I don't have to go looking around for it at all. And so how do you use this thing? This thing right here, the way you use it is all you do is you have it, you unscrew it, and you can see there's a space there and this top there, it's sturdy. And the cool thing is once you screw it back on here, it is not going to go anywhere. It's not going to fall out. You're not going to lose your medication because this thing fell off your keychain because it's so sturdy. It has got a little weight to it, right? So it's not too heavy, but it does have a little weight to it. The other great thing about it is if you lose your keys, like if you're like, man, I lost my keys. I know they're somewhere in my house and you can't find your keys. You can definitely find this thing because it is kind of big. And it is shiny. Well, this one is shiny, but you can get them, you can get them all sorts of different colors, right? But you can definitely find this thing because it is a little bit bigger. And you might look around and say, hmm, where are my keys? But then you see this thing, you're like, oh, there they are. And to boot, I had no my medications in there as well. And the next thing is going to be a command center. This is a central location to where you and your family can communicate. It's a place where you have phones and phone chargers, sticky notes, and then you also have a place to put whatever else you need there and also some type of dry erase board, dry erase calendar, a central place for communication. If you want to put book bags and stuff there, you can do that as well. And so that way everybody's on the same page and you can communicate back and forth. Hey, mom, I got to go do this. Hey, dad, I got to go do this. Hey, honey, I need to go do this or that or whatever. And you can put it all on that dry erase board, dry erase calendar. You can write sticky notes to whoever you want to. You can make sure that your phone is charged and that you know where it is because you have the central location. And right here, you can see I set one up as an example, not an elaborate one, but does get the concept across. There's a place for phones and phone chargers. There's a place for pens and sticky notes. And then moving on, there is a dry erase calendar there. You can use a dry erase board, whichever. It has different messages from family members to communicate back and forth. It has all the different appointments and things on there. And it lets people know what is going on and you can communicate together on the dry erase board to let other people know what you need to do or what is the answer to a specific question you have for someone as well. It is a great way to communicate back and forth and it's in this central location where everybody knows to look. Next is going to be a parking lot. No, I'm not talking about the one where you park your car, or your truck, or whatever. It is a place to where you put down all your random thoughts you have throughout the day that you don't want to really think about right at the time. So you have a piece of paper and a pen and you write down those thoughts as they come. You might be like, hey, I want to know what the name of the robot is. That's the last name has prime in it. And you might be like, I don't know what that name is. I want to find out. I'll look it up later. Or you might say, I don't know what to have for dinner tonight. Maybe pizza. What kind of pizza? Not sure what kind of pizza. I want to think about that, but I want to think about it later. These things go into your parking lot as you write them down and then you can get back to them later. It's not a brainstorm place. It is a place to where you have a space to write down all the random thoughts that are not that important right now, but that you can just get them out of your head to somewhere so you can keep going throughout your day, doing whatever that you need to do. And now you're probably wondering, how in the world is this going to help me? Have you ever been on a rabbit hole? You've been thinking about something like, hmm, I wonder what this is. You go down a rabbit hole that is not what you need to be doing right now. And this is where this parking lot comes in handy because now you put that thought on the parking lot and then you're not thinking about it. It's not getting you off track of your schedule. You're able to stay on your schedule because you put that thought somewhere else and that way you're not distracted by it and that way you don't waste time looking at something or going to search about something that you don't need to search about at the time. It can be done later. It's just not that important at the time. So this is a great way to help you Stay on schedule with what you want to do. The next thing is going to be a smartwatch. And these things are great because you can have your email come to your smartwatch. You can have text messages come there. You can know when someone's calling you. You can even have ones that do the whole heart rate thing and tell you what your heart rate is and all that kind of stuff. So you have different options and different kinds and so many different kinds that you can actually use 
and get. And it's great because it's going to help you stay on schedule because not only does it tell you the time, but then you don't have to open your phone or your tablet to see who sent me an email, who sent me a text message. Oh, what time is it? Oh, when is that appointment coming? Yes, you can do this on your phone or on a tablet, but the fact is you have it right on your wrist and you don't have to worry about opening it up, taking it out, and then going through the whole process of trying to find that email or trying to find that calendar event or trying to figure out, okay, who text messages me and is it important? It could be just some random text that you're like, I know that's a text from somebody, but it's not important right now. I have to do other things right now. I don't need to be thinking about what is in that text message right now. And with a smartwatch, you can avoid those things and it will make you stay on schedule because you're not having to take just that little bit of time to go through your phone, go through your tablet or get on your computer to figure out what is going on, why am I getting sent this message and what is the message about and then you figure out it's not even important. The next thing is going to be these smart speaker systems, and they're great. You might have Alexa, Google, whichever, and if they're connected to like your smart home system, you can tell them things like, hey, turn off the lights. Hey, turn on the lights. Hey, change the color of the lights. If you have one of those bulbs, you can do that. You can also ask them things like, what time is it? What day is it? When's my next appointment? All these different things that you can ask them, and they will respond to you. And it is great, too, because sometimes you just don't know what to say, and you're trying to say something, try to get it out, and you're trying to get the thing that you want them to do out and they still will generally understand you even if you don't know all the words now the other thing about this is you can also get them to play music so if you just want to play music then that is also a great thing as well but they will help you stay on schedule because of the fact that you don't have to go look through your computer your phone your tablet or whatever you don't have to even get up sometimes because you're trying to figure out what day what time it is and things like that you can just ask them and they will respond and that will help you stay on schedule because of the fact that you don't have to take the extra action to go look up these specific things. And the last thing is going to be a voice recorder. These are great because you have a meeting or a lecture or something that you could take these with you. And if you know that you can't get notes down fast enough, then it is a good thing to have a voice recorder. And the way this helps you stay on schedule because after that meeting, after that lecture, you're going to spend a lot of time trying to figure out, okay, what were they saying here? What was that note? What was that point that they were saying? I really missed that. Okay, how do I find that point? I have to ask somebody else and go back and forth. Instead, you have a voice recorder, and that way you can just go back and listen to that part and then put down that part that you're missing from your notes. So it's going to save you time and allow you to stay on task that way. And then when you are in that lecture, in that class, and you're like, oh, I missed that part. But the great thing is, you know, you have it on your voice recorder. So you know that you can go back and listen to it and find that specific part. And you're not wasting time trying to figure out, okay, what did they say in that part? What did they say in this part? And that part's pretty essential to this part. And I'm not understanding what they're saying now, but I can go back and listen to it and then figure it all out. So that is why a voice recorder is really good for helping you stay on schedule. If you want to know more about staying on schedule, then watch this next video right here about reducing procrastination. It's going to give you all the tips that I have about reducing procrastination throughout your day so you can do more throughout your day. Have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. You just seen an episode of the Rewired Fitness Podcast. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Whether you're on YouTube or a podcast app, I appreciate you. Go and click the subscribe button for me. Also, you can find this podcast on any digital platform. If you're on YouTube, go and leave a like and a comment as well. I thank you again. Have a great day.